Hi, I'm Chris Berman. Ahead on ESPN, we'll be getting out to the polls Tuesday, but our votes for great football today in week 10 of the NFL on ESPN. We've got two teams each hoping for a landslide victory here in this one. Kansas City Chiefs, New Orleans Saints, now. While the teams are out on the field getting loose, the fans are filing in and finding their seats for the game. Hello folks, I'm Dan Stevens, welcoming you to the Louisiana Superdome. My pal Peter O'Keefe will be covering today's game with me. Peter, playing on the road can be an unfriendly environment to say the least, and it has been particularly unkind to these guys. Well, you said it, Dan. Have really had a rough go of it on the road so far this season. They're hoping they can turn their luck around in today's game. We'll see how it goes. And now let's go down to the coin toss. It's tails. Harrison kicking off for the Chiefs. There's the signal, and we're ready. Harrison kicks it, and we are underway. Murray decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackle that to 19. You have to push on and be the best team possible. Number 41 gets the call again and takes it upfield. Eventually tackled at the 38. That will break. Jones gets the sack at the 34. Breeze throws a bullet to the flat and it's moving. He's got the first down and a whole lot more. Drew Brees makes a terrific completion in double coverage here. Wow, now that is one confident QB. Up. Brees puts the throw to the end zone and it's cut for the score. Patrick passes this one, and the it's off, incomplete. incomplete. Third down with the tight end, right. Hill grabs the fastball over the middle, and two. they get the first on third and long. Oh. Robinson catches this two. one, and he's got the first down, and a whole oh. lot more. This is a great run, Dan. Look at the yards he chews up. Peter, he had a great... Thomas hauls it in right side, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Number 41 takes it off the toss and passes. Breeze fires this one over the middle and it's complete for the first down and a whole lot more. Out there, defense is expecting that and they go to nickel. Number 32 Passes makes a play on this one in his second batting ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Number three launches the 51-yard attempt and has its sail just left of the upright. Williams has his number called on second down and picks up the first down. All falls incomplete. Peter, that could have been big. It sure could have. The Saints have it. Robertson delivers a punishing blow to the ball carrier there. And he gives up the football for the fumble. Great hard-nosed defensive play. Peter, they're on them throughout this one, which starts at their 46-yard line. Interceptor! Brought down at the 48. Oh, this drive at their 48-yard line. Hill goes in motion. Williams. 
Hill catches it left sideline. And two. he's in for the score. Hill makes the catch, but that's not enough for him. He gets it and takes off for more. That's his first touchdown of the day. It'll be second down. Breeze gets all of his arm into this pass. Breeze passes this one after the play action, and Passes it's tipped incomplete. incomplete. Hamilton. With Hamilton. Patrick lets it go the distance here, and the big catch is made with daylight in front of him. 15, 5, touchdown. he's in for the touchdown. Hill is going to make the catch. Right there, but that's only the beginning. Look at him chew up the yardage. Another touchdown for him, and another wonderful... <laughs> Fumble! Oh, they get it back. On the play. Armstead recovered the ball, but this is an all-out terrible play for the offense. They get it back there. <laughs> no good. Incomplete. And that'll do it for the first half That's of this one. The, the Chiefs quarter. enjoying a lead 21 to 7. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dan. Interesting game at the half. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. First, we welcome everybody to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. A look inside the numbers from our first half and look at the discrepancy in sacks thus far. The Chiefs are winning because of it. Let's see if they can keep up their dominance in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Number 41 is gonna get the carry here as they grind it out on the ground. He makes the most of this one. A 20-yard play that set up a Saint touchdown. The Saints strike first and go up by seven. The Chiefs end of the first quarter. Patrick is going to get this one out to his wide receiver, and he'll do the rest. A 35-yard play that set up a Chief touchdown. Saint now early in the second quarter. Game tied, 7-all. Drew Brees connected with his man on this one. The Chiefs middle of the second, number 48, would turn things around. Big shift in momentum here as he pounced on a fumble. The defense recovered. Game tied, 7-all. Number 21 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The Chiefs still midway through the second. The Chiefs with possession at the 46-yard line. Patrick went to work as he would find his man for a big one. A 46-yard touchdown for the Chiefs. Saint late into the second quarter. Saints back by seven. Drew Brees would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. The Chiefs still late in the half. Hill emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. An 84-yard touchdown for the Chiefs. And that's where we'll leave this one. Saints are down at the half, 21-7. to seven. Switch! <laughs> He's going the wrong way. Patrick lops this one out to the... <laughs> Williams dodges this one. 27-yard line. The heater left side. Number 41 carries it past Scrimmy. Number 40. Number 97 sacks him back at the 35. It'll be. Williams gets the toss and gets past the line. Brought down at the 43. and shut it down. Good ball there. Second down coming up. Sanders pulls down the floater out left and gets past the markers for a first down. Sanders is just crazy good on this play, Dan. He refuses to be intimidated by triple coverage. I would have tried to throw some. The ball's loose. They get it back. Number 97 touches him down for a big loss. Back at the 20. 
Number 97 sacks him way back at. Number 97 makes his presence known on this one. He's going to hunt the ball carrier. Patrick goes into the left sideline, and First the reception eight. is made at the seven. Chase down at the three. It'll be first and goal. We're back to the line. There's Star tight end getting set. Here we go. Patrick lobs this to the end zone, touchdown and the it's cut for a touchdown. Sorry. I can't that, man. I gotta get my head right. Now. Hill head faces right. double coverage on this play, but still comes out with the ball. Nice throw and nice catch. Let's take a look. <laughs> Thomas catches it. <laughs> Number 97. Apple, <laughs> they get it back. Touches him down. 35 yards. <laughs> This one falls Passes incomplete, complete. and they will turn the ball Thomas over on down. Receiver, number 53 with the coverage. Number 53 doesn't need any assistance to force the incompletion here. That is just textbook zone coverage, Peter. Absolutely, Dan, and it begins with... <laughs> Patrick rifles this one Post hard over the middle. Sheet. The Line Saints. <laughs> Williams bulldozes Post right sheet. of center and... Gets in for the score. Hill steps up and helps out his fellow ball carrier here. Oh, with a devastating block. The clock at 142. Puller catches the bullet out left and has to be your best to get those who are sidelined back in as soon as possible. But injuries are gonna happen. Thomas catches it in the flat, and the, he's short of the markers. They will forfeit the ball on down. <laughs> Thomas thinks he can make it on the outside, but he is mistaken. He goes out of bounds short of stage in the game. They, they obviously have it wrapped up. Oh, yeah. Green call, and they take... <laughs> catches it in the flat. the sack and the clock will continue to run and that is going to do it for this one the chiefs come out on top 35 to 7 for my partner peter o'keefe this is dan stevens saying goodbye until next time All right, gang, great work as always. And with that, we welcome everybody back to the ESPN studios for our ESPN Video Games post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Chiefs stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Not much action early on in the second half, so let's pick it up early in the fourth quarter. Patrick would find his target on this one. A 21-yard play that set up a Chief touchdown. The Chiefs have opened it up and now lead by 21. Drew Brees would find his target on this one. The Chiefs, after a stop on fourth down, Chiefs out in front by 21. Williams found a little opening. That was all he needed. They've opened it up now and now lead by 28. The Saints have it after a turnover on downs. Drew Brees connected with his man on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Chiefs serve up a blowout, 35 to seven. Now let's check in with our player of the game, a guy who made one big time catch after another to help seal the win for his team. Phil is standing by with our Susie Culver. Susie? Thanks, Chris. You really hustled today and led your team to a big win. What put you guys over the top? I've got to give credit to the linebackers. They played well today. They were reading the plays and they got after the ball like a pack of wild dogs. They played big time today. Big ups to the linebackers. Back to you, Chris. Thanks for tuning into ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. We'll see you next time.
This is SportsCenter. I'm Chris Berman. Well, let's get straight to the action. In our first game this week, we had the Redskins edge their way to a narrow three-point win. The Cardinals won this contest, but will stay at the third place in the NFC West. In a long-standing NFC rivalry, we had the Vikings win their fifth game of the season. Number 85 stepped it up this week and gave his team some added firepower for the win. Number 9 threw for over 200 yards and helped his Lions beat the Jaguars. Right by Lady Liberty in New York, we had the Jets lose by a disappointing 16 points. Chiefs, Saints. A disappointing Hill was definitely a key as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. The Chiefs win this one by the final score of 35 to 7. We had an interesting free agency pickup of note here. Trey's got the lowdown for us. Trey? Griffin is on the move as he gets a contract for what can only be referred to as crazy money. Three years, $7.0 million. On top of that, a $2.1 million signing bonus. Over at the Cleveland Browns Stadium, we had the Browns walk away with a six-point victory. The Bears defense came away with four turnovers in their win at Nashville. The Cowboys won at home, but will take to the road next week to meet the Ravens. The Bills lost this one, but will stay at number two in the AFC East. Buccaneers, Falcons. Ryan is always a double threat in the red zone at the five yard line. There's a snap, and in the slot, the back quickly in the end zone for six. The Falcons go on to win this by the final score of 35 to 28. We had a big injury in this one, and Trey has the lowdown for us. Trey? All right, Boomer, thanks. In front of you, we've got the AFC Infirmary Report. And as you can see, they were hit hard this week. This guy might be the biggest loss on this list. The team doctors have reported a pulled hamstring, and he'll be out for five weeks. In front of you, we've got the NFC list. And as you can see, they could form their own mash unit. This guy sticks out on this list as one of the more costly injuries. X-rays confirming the original diagnosis, it's a broken ankle. And that'll keep him out for the rest of the regular season. There's a chance, however, they'll get him back for the playoffs. Now the big story of the day. Jones is going to find himself in street clothes for the time being, and that'll be a major blow to this club. So that'll do it for now. Boomer, back to you. The 49ers win yet again this week and keep their impressive streak alive. And in our final game, we had the Rams come away victorious. So another week in the books here on ESPN, but what do you say we hand out a few game balls before we go? Here's my prime time players. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.